Hey girl, hey, it's your girl Candice. I know it's been a super long time, but I am somewhere so special and I cannot wait to show you guys. Somewhere that I have dreamt of going for the longest time. The sun is shining, which it was not supposed to do today. So I'm gonna head out and I want to take you guys with me and I just want to introduce you to where I'm at. I cannot even wait, so let's just open up the window and show you where I am. I am in Rome. You can see the Coliseum over there. I'm so stoked. I don't know even how to act. Like, I have been trying to come to Italy for the longest time. Last year during COVID, I had actually bought a ticket from Paris to Italy for like 60 euros. I was so excited to go and Italy shut its border. That made me super sad that obviously Rome was closed, but for my birthday every year, I pick a new country, new place that I have not been to before and I go. So I was like, I'm going to Italy this year. Um, and I'm here in Rome for three days and then I'll be in Naples for three days and then I'm gonna go to Paris and see my friends for four days. Enough about all of that. Let's go find like some food. That's the first thing. Let's go. <laughs> these cute magnets as souvenirs for my friends and my mom my sister and then my dad collects hats so i just got him this italia hat i ended up climbing something called like this the seat of the holy father or something like this i'm not sure whose grave it was but i ended up climbing way to the top it was a beautiful view i'm glad i did it today because the weather was great and that is the one thing that I'm kind of worried about is that the weather says it's going to thunderstorm and rain every day that I'm here in Italy, which I'm really hoping it doesn't. Pia yeah, girl is exhausted. I'm gonna head to bed because I wanna wake up early and do Trevi Fountain tomorrow at like sunrise if I can help it. Um, because the crowds there were ridiculous and I want my freaking selfie in front of that fountain. That is the reason why I came to Rome. So tomorrow, sunrise mission. I will see you guys. So I woke up before sunrise. I couldn't film it because I was late getting to Trevi Fountain so I could take some selfies i made the mistake of asking a stranger to take selfies of me yesterday and it was terrible so i said i have to do myself better um so now i'm about to go get crazy with this cute little bakery <laughs> let you know in a couple of days when I go back to Paris but so far um 
like honestly i woke up early and went to charlie fountain to try to take photos and i'm so mad at myself because yesterday i went to charlie fountain when i first got here and it wasn't blocked off and i was like i gotta throw my coins in the fountain but because i looked online like when i went it was like a block fenced off i'm gonna check one more time today um but pretty much they fenced it off because they said tourists don't know how to act i thought i was gonna be like the only person there because it was sunrise but there were a handful of people who had the same idea i had and we're kind of already there um so i just set up my little camera and i just went to town like when you're traveling by yourself people always ask me like how do you get photos yourself i'm like you just set up your tripod and like don't you get embarrassed I don't know if I will ever have the opportunity to come back as a solo traveler and and like why not like these people are never gonna see me again they see a million tourists I'm sure they've seen a million influencers set up their own camera so no one is worried about me I am made a promise to myself that I will not eat the same restaurant twice and I will not have the same pasta dish twice while I'm here so excited tomorrow I have a pasta making class y'all can you tell I'm excited Rome has, Rome has cobblestone. If you are not sure what shoes to wear, don't bring them. I was riding that scooter literally like <laughs> like the whole way there and I was like, oh, I'm gonna vlog this. I had to keep both hands on for dear life because of the cobblestone and then there was like potholes. So you're like trying to like jump the scooter up so that the pothole doesn't send you flying forward. Mind you, it's like you're in traffic so there's like buses coming by. And I'm like, God, no. I would not recommend doing those in like heavy traffic areas or during like heavy traffic times but like i was at sunrise so it wasn't really that many people out but it it was a struggle i was hitting them cobblestone joints like like i was honestly reconsidering every decision i made in life on that scooter but i'm gonna head out i'm gonna take you guys with me let's go <laughs> Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. Third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on soon. I yawn at the display. Third meeting of the day. But I can hear raindrops step dancing on the roof. I wish you guys could see just how big those lemons are. They're enormous. All right, guys, so I am back here for a midday check-in. Honestly, I am in the park, and I will say this. The one thing that the French have over the uh, Italians is the gardens that the French have. The Italian gardens, but their art? Oh my gosh. Um, so I'm actually so exhausted, but I'm gonna head to Soho House just to be nosy, like I said. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay, probably not long. Um, just because I want to go home and take a nap before going out for dinner. So let's go. It's going to take everything to get off this bench. Chick. 